Uh, well, Kyle, it's been interesting. I've asked a number of drivers in the mm. Cup Series, do they find it harder or easier coming to this track for the fourth year in a row? And I've gotten both responses. Some say easier because they've had a few times doing it now. Some say harder because teams have that information they didn't have year one. Uh, Chase Elliott finds it easy. Yes, he does. Um, he's never found <laughs> driving through the tunnel here and running this thing. Uh, not easy, I think. But I, I think... Some teams find it harder because they begin to put pressure on themselves because they know they should be better. They should have better results than what they do. It's a tough little racetrack. Um, it's very technical through the, through the infield. It's slow. They, they talk about how slow it is, but we see so much action. Once they leave down here and whatever that corner is where they Heart keep running it. Turn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when they keep running in the wall. Uh, once they leave there, there's mayhem. There can be mayhem in the infield. Uh, and really, I think when we all looked at it to begin with, we were like, oh, man, they're going to be on the banks. They're going to be all in the mail when they try to break and, and all this stuff. Uh, but I, I think, I think it, go, it does go both ways. It's, but it's like that for all tracks. Right. What makes this such a good elimination race as we go from the round of 12 to 8 after Sunday? Well, you say it's a good elimination race, okay? <laughs> yeah, right. The drivers the don't, they don't say it's a good elimination race because it's so unpredictable. Um, what happens in any road course race um, is, is that you can run second or third all day long and, and something happened with four or five laps to go and there's still 36 cars on the lead lap. So you end up 35th or 36th. So your day is negated by one incident late in the race. Uh, that's the unpredictability. Where at a Martinsville or a Bristol or places like that, you feel like you've always got time to make up a few positions and there's more people laps down. Um, I, I think the, the problem with it to begin with and, and we go back to, to your earlier question is, they've only got four or five races on yep. this racetrack. Mm -hmm. So they don't have a deep book on this racetrack to go back to. Uh, and then you throw in lovely rain like, we had, <laughs> like we've had here before, uh, then that changes it too. So I, I just think the unpredictability of what a road course is, it would make any road course, but this particular road course, um, it, really, it really gets you thinking about things. Uh, heading into this race, Denny Hamlin, the only playoff driver that feels good, yeah. he's the only one that's advanced <laughs> to the, the round three, the round of eight people. So uh, how are these other 11 drivers feeling coming into this Robo race? Well, I, you know, honestly, coming off of Talladega, I don't think any of them has slept all week. Yeah. Uh, because e even Kyle Larson, he lost 30-some points uh, mm -hmm. after Talladega. Uh, so he, he and, and uh, I think Joey Logano, Brad Keselowski, uh, Martin Truex, they're all within a couple of points. Um, and then you've got, you know, Chase and those guys are plus nine. And then you've got the great Kevin Harvick, who is an incredible race car driver, an incredible race car driver, lurking just under that line. So it, it can be a big swing. We saw 30-some points with, with, um, with Kyle Larson, the guy who had dominated this year. Won five or six races, had just blown everybody off the, everywhere we went. Um, and now he's back in the pack. So uh, I don't think anybody but Denny Hamlin has slept all week. Is there any jealousy on your part that you never got to try a track like this? Or, or does it, is, it, is there so many variables that you don't even want to contend with it? So I'm, I'm very fortunate uh, that Dale Jarrett and I get to do pre-race and post-race. And when you're doing pre-race and you look in the eyes of some of these drivers, it's like, man, I'm glad I'm not him. I'm glad I'm not. There's no jealousy. No jealousy, man. Uh, to be back in that position again, to be able to drive a car is one thing. Uh, but the pressure these guys have now. The, the pressure they feel from their sponsors, the pressure they feel from the fans, the pressure they put on themselves to advance to the round of eight. Uh, and it comes down to one race. You know, this is like standing over that final putt yep. uh, at the Masters or at a, at a huge golf tournament, you know, yeah. out at Quail. You're standing over that thing and you know, man, you make this putt. You get to go on, man. You get to go on. And, and the problem is... Uh, there's going to be a lot of missed putts here Well, when they run the Roval. And you'll see them all from up there, so yes, good for you. For sure. <laughs> Thank for you, sure. Kyle. Thank you.